All right, so which mailing list software do I recommend? I get asked this a lot and I wanted to make a quick video about it. Well, for years I have recommended MailChimp because that's what I've been using, MailChimp. I think a lot of you have heard of it. I've used it since the beginning of my business. So 2009 was when I started using it. So a long time and re recommended it for many years. But I noticed that a couple years ago, I think something around maybe five or so years ago, they started pivoting more and more towards e-commerce as their focus. So in other words, uh, getting tools, uh, you know, uh, creating tools to help people sell products and even like tools to make it easier to run Facebook ads. And it just like they were moving away from their original mission of email newsletters and making it easy and beautiful to create them. And then a couple years ago, they sold out. They got bought out by Intuit, which is really strange. Intuit makes QuickBooks, Quicken, you know, financial software, uh, TurboTax, I think. Um, and now they, uh, they're owners of MailChimp. And I'm not surprised that the development, the innovation at MailChimp pretty much stopped um, ever since they sold out. I've, I've seen this to be true with other software companies too, such as Weebly, which I'm really disappointed by as well, which stopped innovating about five to seven years ago. It's a long time. I've been with, with them also since 2009 and because they sold out to, to Square. Anyway, long story short, I no longer recommend MailChimp. I want to show you this ridiculous, I mean, MailChimp has gotten so bad that I, I'm going to show you my screen real quick. Here I am editing... Uh, an email in, in MailChimp, you know, this is what MailChimp was built to do originally. And even the spell check no longer works. This is a broken spell checker. I mean, this is incredible that, that the most, one of the most basic features of sending emails, drafting emails, spell check doesn't work anymore. Another thing that doesn't work is um, when I when I try to duplicate an email from a previous campaign's template, the, the campaign the previous templates uh, campaigns aren't there and they, they tell me how to use a workaround. So there are just little broken things here and there over the past few years where I'm really surprised that they never fixed. And like I said, they sold out, you know, they cared more about, you know, I guess cashing out than about continuing to support their, their users. And so I have, I've made the, the very difficult decision after all these years to move out of MailChimp. I'm exporting all my contacts over to Simplero instead. Uh, you may have heard me talk about Simplero recently. If you haven't, um, check out the link uh, above this video or below this video, wherever you're looking. There's a link to, to my affiliate link for Simplero. And the reason I'm sharing my affiliate link is because if you're going to sign up with Simplero, they're going to pay the 20% to somebody, might as well be me, because then I will give you my special Q&A uh, calls about um, how I use Simplero, how I set it up so you can learn from how I'm doing it. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the main thing is uh, Simplero is now my, my, my recommended thing. I've been using it for a couple of weeks uh, now and loving it. It's been great. It's like a single database, a single place for my email list, my affiliate program, my course students, my CRM. You know, it's like tracking uh, when was the last time I contacted somebody and when should I contact, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. I'm kind of putting it all into Simplero now. Um, it's all like one database, like one person will be, could, could be a mailing list subscriber, an affiliate, a, a course student. It's all one, one contact, which is really nice. It's all one, one database, one place. Um, so if, but Simplero is not cheap, you know, as of this recording, it's somewhere between 150 to $200 a month. So it's alongside the same pricing as like Kajabi, for example. I looked at Kajabi too. I have a whole video series where I looked at all these uh, several, like I looked at five popular software platforms and kind of evaluated different things and why I decided to choose Simplero. So you can look at that uh, series if you're interested. But um, uh, if you're not ready for Simplero because your business, for me, it's totally worth it because right now I'm already paying $100 a month for MailChimp and I'm paying $70 a month for an affiliate software. Um, and I don't have a course platform yet. As you probably know, I use YouTube Unlisted and Google Docs for my course platform. And now that's all going to happen in Simplero. 
And so it's really worth it for me to, instead of paying $170 elsewhere, I might as well pay about $200 in Simplero for all of it, plus a really nice course platform, plus a CRM. <clears throat> anyway, uh, if you're not ready to pay that amount of money, I would recommend uh, two others that you should look into. One is Mailer Light, M uh, M A I L E R L I T E. Mailer Light is uh, you know it, it, some of my clients use it and really uh, really like it, and it's very cheap. I think they have a free plan that's quite good, um, and otherwise it's it's cheap. The other one I would recommend is called Convert Kit, and I'm just kind of looking at the pricing right now. Convert Kit oh is very reasonable. It's from $0 to $25 a month. So it's very, very reasonable. Yeah, I didn't even actually know it was that cheap. So either MailerLite or ConvertKit are great ways to start. ConvertKit is much more full featured. It has automations and tags and things like that. Um, I haven't compared MailerLite versus ConvertKit, so I, I don't know. Um, but people I know who use both of them really love them. So you should look at, look at these two options. Um, Anyway, I think that's that's all I wanted to say. Is I no longer recommend mail, men Mailchimp. I'm moving over to Simplero. If you're interested in Simplero, you can use my affiliate link so that you can get access to my special Q and A calls about that. And uh, if you want to use MailerLite or ConvertKit, maybe uh, what you should do is ask your network for somebody who has an affiliate link to to those to those service one or both of those services so because again whenever you sign up for software they're going to pay the 20 percent or, or whatever they're going to pay it to somebody they might as well pay it to one of your friends right <laughs> so that's why you should always uh before you sign up for a subscription ask around to see if one of your friends has an affiliate link that uh might as well give them the the you know the bonus so anyway i hope this helps and uh any questions about simplero you can go ahead and comment below and I'll do my best to um, answer some, some brief questions. So thanks for watching and hope this helps. Thanks.